All right, here's the story of the day. Three months ago, a man by the name of Charles Rowe was waiting for a liver transplant. Uh, he needed it at Jefferson Hospital. It was coming in from New York. And it almost didn't make it because the Philadelphia Half Marathon was going on that Saturday morning. And the liver in this van or something got trapped in the, in the traffic. So the transplant surgeon realized this is the route he had to run in order to get it. That the organ wasn't there. He's scrubbed and ready. The patient's ready. He's like, where's my organ? So he puts on, I think just the shoes he was wearing, runs right. out, right in his, you know, white jacket and everything, runs a half a mile over from the hospital to Lombard and gets the liver. So that is the, if you can follow the little track right there on the map, that's what he had to run in order to get it, um, to get through all of the people that were running there. So he's here with us right now. Oh, here's the patient who obviously explains what it was like to get that liver. Amazing. He's a really amazing doctor. He went beyond the call of duty. I guess he got a cape on underneath that white jacket. <laughs> so he's now doing really, really well. The doctor, what a hero, Adam Bodson joins us right now. Thanks hey, for coming in. Amazing. Thanks for having me. Wow. So let's make sure we get this right. You, you were ready to go with the transplant, because it's very time sensitive, obviously. So what do you run down 11th Street wearing? Uh, scrubs, a jacket, and uh, those disgusting sneakers you saw just a few <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> These were sneakers that you would wear in the operating room? It's a, what I wear in the hospital, yeah, so I don't bring it home. Are you yeah. a runner to begin with? No, I'm more of a biker. A biker? Yeah. Okay. So how do you realize like there, there's a problem and there's a holdup. Like, how does the conversation go? Like, you're scrubbed in and ready to go, and you're like, "What's going on? Where's my organ, folks?" We weren't. I, I waited to sort of get the case going because I anticipated a potential problem. I had been talking to the driver for over an hour, so uh, sort of, as at some point, you calculate the time of you know, when you're going to get it, when it actually is going to get in the, into the patient, and. It was time to go get it. I've never heard of anything like this. So you're, he's stuck at 11th and Lombard. You run from Chestnut, basically, down to the vehicle. What is the liver in? It's in a large box full of ice and preservation solution. And uh, thankfully, I had flagged down a police officer to help me get it back. So eventually. you didn't have to run back with a <laughs> box in your hand. You'd had a, a, a police officer. I, I wouldn't have been able to run with that box. But exactly. uh, yeah, thankfully, the police officer was very kind. And how and soon after you get back to Jeff is the liver in the man? Probably three hours, give or take. And you do that. You're the man. Me, along with a, a lot of other people that contribute. Well, sure. Yeah. How long does a surgery like that take? Uh, anywhere from, you know, four and a half to seven hours, depending on the case. Oh, it's a real, obviously, a very long, like, life. It's a, <laughs> you need this for life. It's an important thing. It is, yes. How's he doing now, Charles? As well as I could hope. Uh, he's doing great. He's a great patient. Uh, really done everything we, we've asked of him. And he's, as you saw, just very kind. I see he has uh, he running looks, shoes on. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and, you know, he, he looks great. He looks like he, honestly, doesn't look like he had a liver transplant. Yeah. Again, we always like to say, if we all were organ donors, there would be no shortage of organs. Uh, so please, if you have an opportunity, become an organ donor. Absolutely. Both. There's lots of ways to sign up to be a, uh, an organ donor uh, in the horrible case of if you pass away, but also uh, live donation. So yeah. live donation, both for kidney and liver transplant, uh, really change people's lives. The entire liver. You could donate a portion of your liver um, as a port, you know, as to a child, uh, to right. an adult. Uh, and the same thing goes for donating one of your so kidneys. Could really change someone's life. Do you have any nicknames around the hospital now, or like a kidney? No, I, I, I am only can imagine what I'll be walking into in just after thirty this. minutes after this. Yes. Okay. Great to meet you. What an inspiration so yeah. for everybody. So thank you. That's amazing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. He stepped up. Well, a lot of steps.